Recently, I overheard my young children experiencing a new YouTube phenomenon. Killer clown videos. No! 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 From uh, some guys called Stromedy. My kids have been through a lot of weird YouTube phases before, but rarely do slime videos or disembodied hands opening plasticine eggs. Uh, contain themes of abduction or implied murder. That you don't want to become a victim of a clown. Everyone who has ever been captured by a clown has literally never been seen again. So, at first, I was uh, kind of outraged because the videos uh, do seem to be aimed at a younger audience. But I calmed down when I had a realization. Uh, I'm a parent and it's my responsibility to monitor what my kids are watching on YouTube. So that's on me. My kids, who genuinely seem to love these videos, um, asked me to watch more with them, and I started to really enjoy the little uh, nuggets of clown lore that get dropped into them. Clowns do often use a green or a yellow kayak. And the way that in each subsequent video, the stakes are raised in ever more bizarre ways. Clown territory. We're clown forest. Clown road. You clown tunnels. The clown bus. Clown schools. Clowns on paragliders. Clowns in ATVs. Clown training camp. Clowns on kayaks. Now they're in freaking helicopters. They tried asking for a clown ID and I didn't have one. A clown farmer. It's Alex. the number one rule of warfare. You have to control the resources. What clown like civilizations are, guys? We're in a clown apocalypse. If you can get past the fact that they literally, 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 Give me motion sickness. To collect intel about us for whatever reason. We can't pinpoint why this has been happening. But recently, it's gone as far as us hearing noises above our ceiling. Like, I'll just wake up in the middle of the night to one of the guys or... You have to admit that they're clearly having a lot of fun. And whilst they mostly play the videos straight, they clearly aren't taking themselves too seriously. Guys, if it's not Clown Mountain, or Clown Tunnel, or Clown Ocean, or Clown State Beach, or Clown <laughs> Forest, or Clown Hill, Clown <laughs> Island, everything is clown, guys. And uh, they seem to walk just about the right side of the line when you consider that they're basically making Baby's first horror franchise. But I heard that the only way to protect yourselves from clowns is to drop a like and subscribe on this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. But then I took a look at their view count and subscriber numbers. And at this point, I need to thank them for teaching me the basics about killer clowns because I suddenly realized that there had been a few strange goings on in my house. So, I've asked my friend Brian to come over. Clowns are basically an invasive species in Europe. So, Brian's North American, and um, he has a lot of experience with clowns. That's where they're native to. He's coming over to have a look around and see if he can tell me whether any of the the, the stuff which I've been hearing and seeing is an indication that there is a clown infestation in the flat. Hi Brian, thanks for coming over. Right. Well, so, um, as I told you on the phone, there's been some suspicious goings on and I've started to get worried that it could be clowns. Man, what have I told you? Like, there are no clowns in Europe. Like, you, you've, been well, spending, you've been spending way too much time in your apartment and you're just hearing all the weird creaks and squeaks that you just normally don't hear during the day. Well, I know, I know that's what you think, but I'd really like you to take a look around and, you know, tell me if any of the things that I've been noticing are signs or if you can spot any signs yourself. 
I know you have a lot of experience in these things. Look, I mean, it's been a, a while. I'm not gonna lie, and I, you know, I thought, I thought I left that part of my life back in the U.S. So, I mean, let's kind of go about this efficiently. I don't want to miss curfew. All right, thanks. So, I have been hearing, like, I've been hearing some scratching in the coming from the walls, some strange noises. It's a solid concrete wall. Well, not, not that, that wall. Okay. Oh, God. What? Okay. What is it? It's grease paint. Oh, my. You know, it could have dripped off of this, maybe. Mm, there's uh, no grease paint on there, that's finger paint. Okay, okay. One thing though. Let's see, where is it? Uh oh. What do you see? Seriously, man. Like two things is is it does not a clown make, you know what I'm saying? Like, well I've been be like, I told you I've been hearing some sounds coming from the cavities. Like, what I mean it could be your neighbors, it could be mine, Look. it could be Okay. Do you hear that? Can you hear it? <gasps> there. Oh man. There. There, there. Did you hear it? Oh, All right. You're gonna have to go to the store. So uh, we've we've done our tour of the house, and we found quite a few signs of uh, of what, what might be a clown infestation. Uh, we've found the grease paint on the door handle, the red balloon, and also some sounds coming from the cavities, um, kind of spooky spooky music was there. Do, do they have um, instruments or, or some kind of PA system or something? No, it's much more disgusting. They have a special gland that secretes or emanates music, essentially. It's, it's like audio sweat. Right, that sounds pretty disgusting. Yeah, it's horrifying. Uh, right. Brian's come up with a list of uh, things that I need to get to help tackle the problem. That should so, be, that should be enough. Um, number one, cereal. Yeah, so that we're going to use as bait. Okay. Uh, what, what kind of cereal? Raisin bran. And like clowns like raisins or? No, I do. Okay. All right, uh, clown poison. Yeah. Okay, uh, where, where do I get that? You could probably get both of them from the American candy store. Okay, and what, what does it look like? It's like a box, kind of like rat poison, but funnier. Right, okay. Uh, a meerkat? Mm. Like a mm -mm, meerkat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, what's, uh, what's that for? I'll tell you if you can get one. Okay. Uh, abalone shell. Mm. That's an important one. Okay. Right. Uh, black trash bags. Uh, or as we call them, rubbish bags. Yeah, no, you're going to want to get the big American kind. Look, we hope it doesn't come to us needing to use those, but it's better to be prepared. Grab these, mm -hmm. come back, set up the cameras, so, I'm gonna need this. Good luck. I'm out. Me a cat. Okay, so just quickly. I'm back from the shops. Um, got pretty much everything. I got cornflakes, clown poison, 
uh, which I gotta add. Abalone shell, or as close as I could get, anyway. I couldn't get the the meerkat. Uh, no meerkat, but everything else I've got. So now I'm just gonna go and set up the cameras, and uh, yeah, once that's done, watch a bit of TV, go to sleep, see what happens. All right, so uh, it's the morning. Um, Brian's very kindly come back and uh, we're gonna check the video and see if we've caught anything. I don't know, man. It's like I don't know how many more early mornings I have like this. You can't, you can't like some, you know. We, you, we may have found something exciting, so. Yeah, it's the first night, like, what's the... Well, let's see. You're like trying to wheel. All right, so the the cameras are movement activated. Home, hopefully, we'll only pick up when you know when there's actually something happening. I mean, that might be the kids tossing and turning. They're pretty but, squirrely. Mm. Why don't you really, they sleep in the same bed? Uh, well, this is actually my bedroom. Um, it's your bedroom. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I wasn't going to sleep in the room with a k potential killer clown in there, was I? So, is all your kids sleep in there? Well, you know, they're all right, probably. I mean, like you said, it's the first night, so... How does he flip around like that? Oh, he's pretty acrobatic. Yeah. It's good grip. Uh -huh. There you go again. Whoa, whoa, what's that? What was that noise? What was that noise? Is that... Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. What? That's That's a clown. That... That is a clown. That's a Where's clown. He going? Where's he going? What's he doing? Oh man. Oh, he sees oh the kids. God. Now, uh, he, he may not be a killer clown, he might just be a, t a terrorizer. Which means mm -hmm. he would want to scare the kids and harvest their tears. Right. Uh, it keeps them lively and virile. Um, but so oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That's a knife. That's a cleaver. That's a that's a chopping people apart meat cleaver. Oh, oh my god. What's that? What is that? Who smells something? Did you put out the cereal? Uh, I did, yeah. Did you put the poison in? Yeah. You think he's going for the cereal? I mean, that's why you put it up this now. Oh, what's going on? Let's see. Oh, he's going straight for it. Straight for it. <laughs> A spoon? What is What's that? What's that? Some sort of... What, what, is, what is that? Oh, oh it's, it's milk! milk. <gasps> oh my god! This is a development, James. North American clowns are famously lactose intolerant. This, this is... This is a mutation. This is a completely never before seen variation. Gracious. Insatiable. He's I mean, really getting in there. That is something else. What's he doing? What's, what's he doing? Oh, I've already seen the camera. It didn't hide the camera. It, the camera has to be able to see it. What happened? It's gone. Feed's gone. Check on the kids. No, dude. I mean, I just came straight in and called you, dude. They're fine. 
So the reason that we put out the clown poison is so that the clown then develops an unquenchable amount of thirst that would um, push it to go and seek a water source outside of of the like a like a river or yeah like a river uh, like puddles swimming pools mm -hmm. these sorts of things uh, so that they don't die in the house yeah because you see the reason that they don't seek out water from traditional like a tap or something exactly like is because they're absolutely mortified of anything snake or phallic shaped so mm -hmm. Um, spaghetti noodles, extension cords, phone cables, Makes sense. single long dreadlocks, monuments mm -hmm. to American presidents, things like that, mm -hmm. absolutely petrifying to clowns. So, see, you see the, the cistern out there? The one that collects the rainwater from the, from the roof? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we would expect to see them go after. Right. But I don't see... What, uh, what, what's that you're doing? I mean, it's abalone. It has a well-known sensitive resonance to picking up clown music. I mean, right. I feel right. like you should know. I'm not picking anything up. No? No. Oh, hey, look at this. You see that? Right. It's got the lid off. Yeah. Do you think it could have fallen it inside? It definitely, I mean... anything from here but oh the plot thickens a little bit here no no there's no way he came this direction because you see that what is that that's a meerkat statue clowns absolutely terrified of meerkats they carry the plague plague very dangerous for clowns right do you think that that's why the statue's there I mean at this point I'm starting to believe that there's perhaps a, an infestation m moving this way. Like your neighbors probably put this out in order to, well, I mean, I don't want to make accusations, but to, to shift the problem onto you because, you know, it can be a bit embarrassing. Unnaturally shaped pile of leaves there. Right, I mean, you think, you think the clown's under the leaves? I mean, it could be. He, he, if he, was, if he was desperate enough, if there was a puddle on the ground, it's been pretty wet, so... Uh-huh. Like, he was licking licking the dew off the grass or something. Yeah, precisely. I mean, in, in desperation situations, that would actually be something... It's, it's behavior I have seen before. Right. Um, I mean, we can check... We can check the rest of your flat... Yeah, I see. Chodo shapes, snake shapes, nothing. I mean, there's too many. There's like way, if, everywhere you look in here. Um, where's your toilet? Uh, the toilet's back this way. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What a mess. That is a dead clown. Don't those have clown poison in them? Yeah, but. That's only bad for clowns. Okay. Uh, what do I do with this? We gotta get rid of it. All right. I'm going home. Easy. Can you bring the black plastic bags, please?
So, turns out we had a bit of a lucky break with, uh, with the disposing of the clown. Uh, <coughs> as it so happens, they've started work outside and nearly finished now uh, on the uh, pavement and the outside of the area of the house. And whilst they were doing it, they put in some canalization. And uh, all I had to do was um, drop the clown down overnight into the uh, into one of the tubes and as you can see it's all been covered up now nicely so uh, I'm sure clown won't come and do any mischief down in uh, down in the sewer so um, all done great sorted you guys know where there's one clown, there's always more. Always more. The only way to protect yourselves from clowns is to drop a like and subscribe on this video. <laughs>